Hey, I'm William. Today, I'm going to show you how to check the drive motor on a Maytag washer that isn't spinning or agitating. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-it-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Today, we'll need a multimeter and a 516 inch socket. Always unplug your appliance before you do any work on it to protect yourself from electric shock, which can potentially cause serious injuries. Don't forget to turn off your water supply and unscrew your hoses from the washer. You might need a towel handy to clean up any unwanted water. To get to the motor, we can lean the washer back. I'm setting the washer on its back so you can easily see what I am doing. We're going to grab a 5 16 inch socket to remove the belt shield bolt. And after we do that, we can set the shield off to the side. Now that the shield is off, you can see the motor in the left corner. We can remove the belt, then rotate the motor pulley to see if it moves freely. If it doesn't, that means the motor has failed. If it does rotate freely, we'll need to test the windings. We're removing the wires to isolate the motor. Now we're taking our multimeter and setting it to ohms, which has a symbol that looks like an upside down horseshoe. We're going to test from the white wired terminal to the other two terminals. That'll be the orange and the red. The windings should measure between 3.5 to 6 ohms. If the windings aren't within this range, then the motor has failed and needs to be replaced. If your drive motor tested good, you can check out our other troubleshooting guides to find out what might be preventing your washer from agitating and spinning. If everything is good, we can go ahead and plug the motor back in. Attach the drive belt, put the belt shield back in place, and lift the washer back up and put it on its base. Don't forget to plug your washer back in, connect the water hoses, and turn your water supply back on. We've got thousands of videos to help you diagnose your appliances and make repairs. If your drive motor tested bad, you can order a replacement at AppliancePartsPros.com so you can repair it yourself. Make sure to let us know how the repair went in the comments. If you like this video, let us know by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.